trauma affects the nervous system and, and the muscular system first of all. Like if you're falling down the steps, if you trip, you know, your, your arousal immediately goes up and you reach for the railing without even thinking about it. It doesn't even go to your core, you know, your thinking brain first. So we're, we're really working at that level and looking at how the body um, can resolve the trauma really through sensory motor processing, through physical action, uh, through exercises that directly affect the nervous system um, and help the person you know, shift states uh, more easily. The difficulty that's so hard to resolve with traumatized patients is that there are these reminders of the trauma from the external world but also from inside, like just you know, a heart beating fast with excitement can, can trigger a, a trauma, a reliving experience for a trauma survivor, even if the heart beating fast is in reaction to something fun or pleasurable. When a person is thrust back into some kind of reenactment and reliving, they really don't have the cortical control that we think of as possible for adults, you know. And, because um, when, you're, when you're back into reliving the trauma, your subcortical brain takes over. And it can happen in a million ways, you know. You can't decide uh, in the way we normal th normally think of decisions. So it's happening from very animal um, brain. Um, but with PTSD, the person is constantly triggered into responses traumatic responses, and often not even aware that they're being triggered, you know. So, for example, I had a, a woman who uh, developed a phobia of dogs barking, and uh, through our work she'd been raped, and you can imagine that there was a dog barking during the rape. She did not know that until we started to work with it by imagining hearing a dog barking and what happens in your body, and then she started to feel the tension and the panic and the high arousal that she had felt during the rape and then the pieces started to come together, you know. And so then in working with her body and completing those responses, that also uh, helped start to resolve the phobia about dogs.